welcome to the final Freel on Friday. And what better place to make our finale than at another grade two star listed building. Here I am at Buller's Wood. It's a girls school now, but it has the most fabulous history. First lived in by a family in the 1860s, and then the Sanderson family came here in 1870. They made their wealth and fortune from merino wool imported from Australia. They were a large family and they wanted to extend their house. So they employed local architect Ernest Newton. And this gate behind me commemorates the date of the restoration of the house, 1889. Newton employed famous interior designer, William Morris, an important gentleman from the arts and crafts movement. This was actually Morris's final um, commission. He created a stunning hand stenciled uh, ceiling in what is now the school library. And he also created a special carpet for the school, which is called the Buller's Wood Carpet. And you can see it at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. The family uh, used the extensive grounds, uh, which are a joy to see. And the Chisler Society has just granted money to restore the pond in the grounds, the Victorian pond, and to make the grounds safe so that local people can come and enjoy open days, which the school hoped to have a couple of days um, each year. The family um, used the grounds, as I said, and unfortunately one of them went out shooting and um, had a shooting accident. And another of the brothers was killed in the gun room, so they weren't particularly handy with their rifles. If the girls come across ghosts, perhaps it's the Sanderson boys that they are hearing. The school became the Royal School of Music in 1930, and this was where young boys were trained in choral music. And then with the outbreak of the Second World War, this place actually became a school, Bromley Technical School for Girls. As I said, it became Fuller's Wood School in 1968 and remember that this was Morris's last commission his wife came with him and being a socialist she didn't like seeing the servants standing in the doorways of the other big houses in Chislehurst and she wrote in a letter that she'd come to Chislehurst but that she had seen just a dry public house which was the Bickley and servants standing in doorways and she commented what a ghastly place to live well, it isn't ghastly, it's absolutely special. And thank you for joining me on this journey of historical information. Farewell.